Hey guys, it's Akinia here. Welcome back to Deluvian Winds. We are now on chapter 5, which is exciting. It's the first time we've seen chapter 5 on this channel. And we are starting off by getting to choose new passengers for our caravan. So um, at this stage, we are unlocking a bunch of underwater buildings, which are all of these circles that have blue around them. So they're all the things that can be built underwater and then... We're also unlocking some more blueprints and stuff, which will be pretty good. So we're just going to grab a couple of people. Does everyone have positive traits there? Yes. Yep, I think that'll be good. So we're going to grab a bunch of people, get started with the day, and we should be getting a merchant arriving tomorrow, which will be our first time getting a merchant, which is pretty exciting, if you ask me. So let's just get straight into it. I would like to build some stuff downstairs. So we've got options. We can build a mine, a cold room, or a fishing hut. So what do I think would be better use of our equipment at the moment? I'm actually thinking maybe we do the mine because we have a lot of fish stuff. So we've got the fishing net and we also got the fishing hut so we've got two things for that and metal is one of the things that can be used for a bunch of reinforcements and stuff like that so i think that's going to be beneficial to us can we do any of these now tank habitation no all right um next thing i'm actually going to start reinforcing some of these because i think we're going to get hit by some underwater um, events soon now that we've got underwater people not 100% sure how they work, but we'll see how we go. Uh, we will grab as much wood as we can possibly get at the moment. And then, lucky last, um, maybe fish. I think there's a couple of people that need to collect fish, and that'll give us just a little bit of extra food. So I think that's probably a good idea. So if we get the mine downstairs, we might be able to remove this and add other things in there later. So that could be good but we will have to see how we go alrighty so let's just give everybody a little bit I don't really want to be losing stuff people aren't happy with that though metal vegetable fish plus well that's really bad for morale but it's really good for everything else I want something that's good for morale and good for the things I want. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. Fish and insect curry, please. All right, everyone is looking pretty happy. So let's continue on with the day and we'll finally get to meet our merchant in the morning, which will be nice. Um, got exactly the amount of stuff we need, but we'll just do a little bit of this. Now let's do... We'll do that. Confirm. We'll keep all 90 of that wood because that could come in handy when we're trying to build things again tomorrow. Ooh, hello. What have you got for me? We could get extra insects. No thanks. It's fine. We, uh, I mean, we don't have much insects, but we can make up for that tomorrow. Hopefully the merchant's not trying to trade us for insects because that would kind of suck. But we got at least one person's thing done. Uh, we've got a couple of bee happies. We've got some people that need fish, so that's probably something we need to work on today, is getting those fish people finished. Oh, look at our little merchant. Look at his little food and stuff on the roof. So I'm guessing this is a food merchant, which is good. We don't have a huge amount of food. I was wondering when you'd fix that dock of yours. I often come by these parts, but I could never come closer. First, we had to ensure we could be autonomous, but I also have to admit that I have no idea there were still folk during daring to sail the seas. It's no walk in the park, but many survivors are isolated and lacking resources. You're among the lucky ones. I guess that's right. By the way, could I get some of your excess materials? I can pay. All right, merchants travel to hamlets across the world to trade with survivors. During their stays, they offer to trade various resources at any time of the day. These trades are limited by the amount of resources in the merchant's stock. Makes sense. Merchants appear at fixed intervals. The merchant's length of stay is displayed on the character card. However, if a merchant's stock runs out, they will end their stay and leave the next day makes sense using projects to improve the training post will increase the merchant's length of stay reduce the time between visits and improve the trust gained by trading all right of course it's selling for insects 
Well, we can do one. So we got some vegetables for some insects. And we now have three trust points, which is not a huge amount considering the next level is a thousand trust points. But um, yeah, he is here for eight days. So we have plenty of time. Um, I'll save all of us. You're the one doing the hard work. Please stay for dinner. It's the least we can do for you. Well, I'm not one to turn down such offers. Cool. So, are we now at dinner? Maybe. No, we're still okay. Cool. All right. So, because we have that trader, kind of need some insects. Um, sure. So let's get started. I would like somebody to be working down here. All right, that costs oil. So we can do five of that. I would like somebody to be working in here. Ah, uh, we can't do that. Okay. Um, can you build me a cold chamber, please? Because the more cold chambers we have, the more things we can have going at the same time. I think that's how it works. All right. Um, since this is not working, let's... I oh, know this it's not working because it's currently undergoing production. That makes total sense. All right, well we'll just reinforce that while we can. Uh, we'll get some people on wood again. And then lucky last, Benz, you are on insect gathering. Is anyone else better at collecting insects, do you think? I don't doubt a wood species would be. Um Maybe you. What is your insect gathering? I mean, it's a little bit better, but not by much. So we'll just leave it. That's fine. All right. Um, so we collected a little bit of insects. I was hoping for a little bit better than that, but it is what it is. Uh, we got quite a bit of metal, which was good. All right. We're just going to do fish and whatever bento that'll be fine We've got some happy people so have you found a route yes a guild is headquartered on a nearby island i shall apply there a guild a gathering of merchants who possess large quantities of a given resource so redistribute it to those in need green grocers fishmongers scrap merchants those guys are picky i must be able to show that i can sell my stock before going there okay I don't know what a lot of this means, but we are making progress. Um, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Probably could use a little bit more oil, but that is fine. Day 31. A new day begins. All right, the caravan is here. We've got only one person leaving us today. Should have done more fish yesterday, actually. Because we've got a couple of people that need fish. Um, don't think I really need either of you. I will get the turtle, because I've not seen a turtle before. Do I want one that produces fish for three blueprints? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Confirm. Goodbye, Mr. Salamander. Thank you for building us our cold room. We very much appreciate it. Oh, and we can sell uh, we'll be happy to share what we can and to get help on occasion. One of these days your lighthouse will be a hub of resource redistributions. You'll see. Alright, so he's sold all of his wares now. We got up to seven trust points, which is really not a lot. But it will have to do for the moment. And you need to work with somebody. So let's just straight away get you to working on wood. I need somebody on fish. Um, I'll put somebody on insects as well. And then we'll put some people down here. We can now do an oil press. Which we can do as much of this as we possibly can. And that's still getting us only 32 oil. And I wonder if that's because of the person that we've picked. Oh, can I do fertilize forest? No, safe. That's what I want. 
There's a storage room that gives us more storage of wood and metal and stuff. So that'll be good. Which means you're the only person that actually can do that. So plus 2, plus 7, plus 15, plus 21, plus 32. And it goes for 7 days and uses 35 wood. Alright, can I... No. Um, there's got to be someone else that's better at it, right? So let's see if... Yeah, you give better results. Not by a huge amount. Though I guess it's using less... No, it's only giving us an extra few. Oh well, we'll do that anyway. And then you can get us some more wood. That should be fine. It gives us a little bit more stuff. A couple more people are happy with what we've given them. We need to look at our blueprints and see if we've got anything else exciting there. So we might do that as well. Um... We did look at this the other day. I think some of this... We're aiming for some extra storage, I think. But there's one somewhere. Maybe it will appear at some point. Seaweed, interesting. Um, it gives us something to do with traders. Because they were talking about it in the thing. Hmm. Oh, well, I got two points. Let's unlock the better fishing thing because that's going to give us another forecast option later. Um, all right, no, I can't see this now, so let's just go a little bit of everything. Lovely, somebody became happy. I still can't see. There we go. All right, um, and I think he's going to leave tomorrow because he's got not enough stuff, so that's fine. Let's continue. And we'll do a little bit of oil. Save our wood for later. Still don't have a lot of insects and food and stuff. But that'll come at a later day. Oh, what is our storage like now? That we've added that safe in there. Confirmation. Ooh, goodbye. It was nice having you, my dear. I like how that boat looks. It looks very much like somebody that's selling a bunch of food. Alright, um, storage wise, that gave us quite a lot of storage, which is nice. Um, I'm going to take that wood, thank you. Now, we do, this gives us 25 of each. This gives us 20 of each, and we've got two of these. So realistically, we probably can delete one of those when we need to start building more things upstairs. We could do an oil press upstairs. I don't think we particularly need that. Um, Alright, let's do that. You can give us some insects. You can give us some fish. You... Oh, actually, no. You can give us Elena. Can you give us some vegetables? That'll give us a bit more of everything. And then you two. We got the safe from Tegan. We could... I think both of these are currently ongoing production, so there's nothing we can actually do with those. We could try and build something else. Ooh, a bear hive. I want to build one of those. That's 70 wood though, so... Oh, you don't really give a lot of good wood, do you? Alright, we'll do that. And then you... There's not really much for you to do, is there? How about you go fishing? See what you can get fishing. I think that's a good idea. Alright, now our level 2 net... Gave us something. I don't know what it gave us, actually. Actually, it might have been a little bit of a bunch of stuff. don't know if that's a possible thing. We'll have to keep an eye out up for it next time. All right, we're just going to do that. It's going to make everybody relatively happy. We need enough wood for the bear to make something. We might need to get another bear. So I'll just do one oil on there, and then that should be good. The caravan will be here tomorrow, so... 
I know, a bear is still here for a couple more days, which is great. Day 33. A new day begins. Alright, so everybody except for Benz is going to be going on this caravan so we can get five new people. Um, so we will get Daffy. Get a couple of the those people, um, the underwater species. And then... Ooh... I don't know. I reckon that's good enough. Confirm. Let's do that. We'll grab our new friends. And I would like... What does Ben's actually need to do? He needs to become happy. Um, Ben's, can you please build me something? Benny boy. Um, a bear hive. Alright, so it needs to be a... Right, I'm going to clear that. As our first step, can we do anything down here? Um, we do some reinforcements. I don't think we really need that at the moment. Oh, we can do mine work. Except we don't have a lot. All right, we can do two days of mine work. That's fine. You, my dear, can try and get us. No, we don't need more metal because we're doing mine. We probably could get rid of that mine too, actually. Um, all right, we'll get some insects happening, some wood, some more wood, and some fishing stuff. Alrighty, so we got metal from that by the looks of it. And we got enough wood that Dora is happy, which is good. He can, he or she can leave after the next caravan arrives. Now we need to make Ben's happy. Where's Ben's? All right. Let's just add some fish. Uh, apparently that'll make him happy. It also made Daffy happy. We've got a few people leaving after this, which is fine. The caravan's not going to come for another day. Oops. Whose birthday is it? Ben's birthday. Sure, have some vegetables. Happy birthday, Ben's. I'm glad we made you happy on your birthday. We really need some more fish, I think. Alright, um... I have way too much wood. Kind of forgot that that was going to be a problem. It is fine. We can work with having a little bit too much of something. It's a little bit wasteful, but... It's fine. Maybe we could do that and just have a bunch of storage things below ground and then everything above ground can be like building stuff. Don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... Ooh, we have another food merchant. I wonder if it's the same dude. Nope, doesn't look like the same dude. Guilds are gathering that determine what resources a merchant will offer. Each guild will have a level of trust with you that grows as you trade with and feed its merchants. It's saved between games and provides many advantage in trading. Lovely. Alright, so next level we only need 15. So we can trade two lots of fish, which gets us up to level two. Trust level one. Silver trade. Merchants from this guild will offer two trades. So then we can buy a bunch of that with wood. Your supplies are overflowing from our holds. Oh, no thanks to me. It's just, I'm just an old walrus. It's the travellers who work hard for the lighthouse. And also the other shelters in the region. The guild would like to thank you on their behalf. We hope this helps you too. Cool. Alright, so that's all of that done. And we've got four more of those we can get. So we can do one more trade for fish. But we don't currently have any fish. So that's going to have to wait. I like the merchant trading system. I think that's quite fun. Alright, what do you guys want? I will actually take that fish so I can do this last trade. Uh, there we go. So that is all done. And we can collect some extras from getting to trust level 1, apparently. Coolios. Alright, Benz, you, my dear, are going to build us a bear hive. I'm very interested to see what that does. Um... No, I think I'm going to do some reinforcements down here. I think that's going to be a smart idea. We're going to do 
two people on wood for obvious reasons. And then Milan and Bianca are both going to be getting us fish. Because that's probably the only food item that we are quite low on. Which the fish fishing net could have given us anything realistically. But I'm glad it gave us the fish that we needed today. Alright, let's go couple of everything that gives us a double morale which hopefully will help keep the trader happy and we had insects for dinner so that person is happy as well uh, let's do weather forecast oh that needs three everything else I think thing needs three hmm this one needs two we could get a duck sauna but that's just a rest place so I don't think I really want that. Could do a kingfisher hut. That changes oil into fish. Which could be handy. What are you? Morale restoration. If you put in a morale room you get an extra. That doesn't make sense to do that. Alright let's do a kingfisher hut. So we're at least using our points. And then we will continue on for the next day. The merchant guilds have found the hamlet. Oh, does that mean chapter 5 is over? Day 35, chapter 6. Interesting. Ooh, ooh. Day 38, eruption level 1. A level 1 hits one underwater column randomly. Ooh. Okay, so we need to have everything below fully reinforced because... It just randomly picks which thing it is. It's not based on anything else. So that's kind of scary, actually. But it's okay. We will work it out. We got a bunch of new people. Our merchant dude is heading off because we bought all of his food, which is great. Love to see it. And you are doing what? Bit of singing? Sure. Okay, so we need to start doing reinforcements down here. So these, this row is fine. This row, is there somebody working on this one at the moment? Or is this empty now? Hard to tell. Alright, that's good. Can I build something? Aquarium. Increase a little of the morale of one traveller. Oil factory. Flower garden. Interesting. I wonder how much space the flower garden takes up. Alright, it's a double story that way. We could... I'm going to clear that out and get rid of that. We might place one of these in there. Oh, I want to see how this works. What is this for? Insects become honey, which is counted as a vegetable. Okay. Five insects become 40 vegetables. Okay, get some more insects and we'll grab some of that and you have buildings that we've already built okay um no i'm gonna take you off of that because we're gonna lose a bunch of storage which is fine and i'm gonna get you to reinforce the downstairs over here so we'll have two things downstairs being reinforced which means everything has at least two bars so whichever one that hits is going to be fine and then upstairs we've got vegetables being produced if we're going to keep this we might actually also get rid of this dude as well because it doesn't make sense to have two things that are being producing two people producing vegetables if that makes sense so i think we've unlocked a bunch of the higher level stuff so we should be using that where we can we just add a little bit of everything else there we go, got some happy people and some not so happy people. We've got a lot of people that are here for a few, quite a few days. Which is interesting. Like, this dude's here for nine days. I wonder if that's because we're now on to the next chapter. That is a possibility, I guess. Uh, we should be getting another merchant tomorrow, which is nice. I'm quite happy to see that. Chapter 6, day 36. I'm quite excited to see this um, underwater eruption. I think that'll be quite good. 
we have another food merchant. We're only getting food merchants at the moment. I wonder when that will change. Oh, a familiar face returns. This is the first dude we saw. Oh my, how does your guild merchant career fare, my friend? It feels like a beast of a burden. So much hefting and so many dangers all day, every day. My hat, <laughs> my hat, my back hurts quite a lot. And this is a matter of basic survival, not something that really improves people's lives. But think how many would die without you. Look, you clearly need some rest. Stay for a while. Take some time to gather your thoughts. Hmm. All right, looks like he's going to just chill. He didn't even bring anything for us to trade. Okay. And what do you got for me, my dude? Um, we'll go wood on, wood on that one. All right. Um, let's go. I'm going to get you to clear out that room. You, I want to build... Oh, I don't have room for a flower garden anymore. Oh, yes, I do. It's this way. Okay, flower garden there. Somebody can give us some honey from there. Um, we do need a little bit of wood. And then you can work in this mine downstairs. We only have enough oil for one day. Okay, you can do oil because we've got enough wood for that. That'll give us 32 oils and it goes for five days. That'll be fine. And then tomorrow we can do a little bit more of the oil. I'm sorry, a little bit more of the metal production. All right, what do we got? All right, we've got so many vegetables now. That upgraded version of that building is really good definitely can't complain about that put a little bit more wood on there that should be fine and let's continue i am so excited for this underwater eruption i think that's gonna be so cool all right uh we are losing one person by the look of it which means we'll only be able to grab one new person but that is fine um Build a greenhouse. I don't want to do that. Build a pantry for nine blueprints actually sounds like probably the best option that we have available to us at the moment. Don't currently have room for a pantry, but that is a not now problem. All right, we need to cheer up the merchant, which means we're going to need to make sure we've got some good food happening. Now, you, my dear, are going to remove the pantry. Um, you can work in the flower garden. That's going to give us a bunch of insects. You can use insects to give us a bunch of vegetables. You can get us some wood. You can also get us some wood. And then lucky last, Oscar, you can do the metal, which we can have four days worth of metal. That should be pretty good. I have a little bit too much wood again, but that's fine. And a little bit too many vegetables. And we don't have a lot of fish, so we kind of need to build something that can give us fish. But that is a not now problem. We'll do that. Maybe one, two. No, he doesn't like that. I'm trying to make Phantom feel better. But we're just going to go a little bit at a time. But tomorrow is the day for our underwater eruption, which is great. It's going to be the last thing we do in this episode. Uh, yay, Edmund is now happy. Fanta doesn't seem to be happy yet still, but he's getting there. And because I got rid of that pantry, we have a lot. Oh, it wasn't even a pantry. We don't have a lot of storage, so we're going to need to build a safe. Alright, um, let's not do that. Let's just do that. Alright, we need to build an underwater safe. Who does the safe building? There's just not a lot of room. You have to be quite strategic about what you build and where you build it. Alright, eruption day. Where are we getting erupted in? 
at that first level, which has everything is good there, so that's fine. Do I have any... I don't have anyone that can build me a safe. Unfortunately, we need more turtles. Alright, um, but somebody needs to build... You can build a storeroom, probably. Uh, it's a storeroom a double building. I can't tell. Yeah. Okay, can't build a storeroom. Who wants to build... Who is it that's building the pantry? Somebody wants to build a pantry. No. Oscar. Oscar wants to build a pantry. Alright, so we'll do that. Um, you... What's the squirrel hideout? Ooh, produces lots of materials. Alright, we'll put one of those there. Not exactly what we needed at this particular moment in time, but it'll do. Um, we have absolutely no wood, so I'm definitely going to need a couple of people to give me some extra wood. You will be for you, and you will be for you. Um, no, that's stupid. Who... Vegetables we don't need at the moment. So you can do something that we do need. What do we need? Uh, you're ongoing. You're ongoing. Could do more. Actually, why don't we do this? And we'll reinforce that just in case we get a tsunami anytime soon. Alrighty. Now, oh, a couple of happy people. 17 blueprints, that's a lot. Uh, let's actually, before the interruption happens, uh, let's, do I want an otter cabin? Maybe. Turtle foundry, I would kind of want that. Whoops. Alright. Can I get a version of this that improves my morale? That, that improves our morale. Fant is still not happy, but it is what it is. We'll get there eventually. Alright, the day is done. Let's put the last little bit of wood on the fire. And let's have a look at this magnificent eruption. Oop. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Oh, is the warning horn? Meow, meow. It's waving at everybody. I guess that's to make sure there's nobody inside the underwater thing still. Whoop! It's shaking. That's kind of cool. Not hugely realistic, but kind of cool. And the new day begins. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like down below. It does help me out quite a bit. If you have any tips or suggestions or anything like that, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And other than that, hope you have a great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!